Today's training session is going to be with the Pudao. So the Pudao is a blade on a stick, all right? Now, full disclosure, this isn't a Pudao. Well, it's not shaped like one. It's actually shaped like a Quan Dao. But Quan Daos are supposed to be like 40 to 100 pounds. These days they make it like 20 pounds. But it's supposed to be really heavy. Pudao's are <laughs> really light, all right? Typically, they have a maybe like a... A ring at the bottom. This one has like more of a spearhead. So again, this is shaped more like a Quan Dao, but I'm going to move it like a Pu Dao. So when I move it like a Pu Dao, means I'm going to hold it like a Pu Dao, which means I'm going to hold it up right over here. Now, if you have neither Quan Dao nor Pu Dao, that's okay. Use a broom Dao. <laughs> Just use a broom. But when you use it, hold it up by the sweeping part. Okay, hold it up high. Don't don't hold it down here. So this way, you know, you're moving it more like a Pu Dao. Okay, Pu Dao is lighter. Uh, and faster. So like I said, this, this sucker is really light. It moves. So I'm, it's going to be moved like a Pudao, but it's shaped like a Quan Dao. All right. Um, before we get started, I always want to make sure we are on the same page of this video, which is, this is for Qigong purposes only. We're doing Kung Fu movements with a Qigong purpose because we're doing it purely for health, purely for internal, external, mental, physical, uh, health is a creative and unique and artistic way of building and improving uh, and maintaining our health. It's not for combat and it's not for performance, for judgment, for other eyes. It's purely for health. Got it? Good. Let's begin. 30 minutes of training with me. Ready? Let's do it. Okay. We're going to be doing a lot of crossing the legs <laughs> stances in this. So hopefully you can see me. I'm going to take my right foot over my left. And I'm going to take the old pudao and bring it to the right, okay? So right over left and just sweep it like I'm sweeping the floor with the right, towards the right, like so. Now when I cross right over left, you notice my left heel is off the ground, okay? That's, that's what happens in our crossing stance, the heels off the ground, okay? And that's all that is for our first step. Just start, you know, feet apart. You put out to the left of you and then move it to the right of you and lower like you're sweeping the floor. Okay. Remember the hand is up by the head, the blade. Yeah, sweeping the floor, just use, use your put out movements. <laughs> Sweep. <laughs> I like that scene from breaking. He's doing break dancing while sweeping. Okay, let's go into the second move. Check this out. My left foot is going to go over my right. Cross stance, that's called the unicorn stance. So bring left over right, okay? Now, from here, all I'm going to do is just lift it up over my head. That's it, that's all I'm gonna do. So if we start with a right over left, and you know, you put out down, go left over right, and the put out up over your head, okay? That's all we're doing, that's all we're doing, so. That's it. That's the only thing we're doing in the movement. Just make sure you start with your right foot over your left and your pudao out down. Okay? Left over right, overhead. Okay? The unicorn stance. And we're going to change from cross stance to cross stance. Done a lot in southern style uh, Chinese martial arts. Northern has it too, but southern is definitely where you tend to see it a lot in the movies. <laughs> Okay, let's put one and two together. Ready? Start with it on the left, and we have one and two. Make sense so far? Okay, so start with it on the left, cross right over left, one, then left over right, overhead, two. Okay, that's it. One, two. And yeah, you do have to start with it on the left side so that you can get that sweeping action. One, two. Okay, right over left. Left over right, unicorn. Right over left, left over right. All right. My challenge is not to hit things in this small garage <laughs> while I'm doing it. I have a garage door opener above me and this wooden dummy right next to me. The big obstacles. All right. So I, I apologize if some of my movements are a little, uh, I guess, not as big or open. Try not to crash into things. And a wall, not to mention a wall, right in front of me. Okay, so let's go into the third movement. I just want you to be in a horse stance at this time and bring it overhead. Now watch what I do. I'm gonna circle it around like this and out, like that, okay? So here I am, 
okay? And my blade is facing upward. I'm gonna bring it around. And now do you see where my blade is facing? It's facing towards you, the camera, okay? So here and here. So we start up overhead. We're gonna turn it counterclockwise and boom, out. So counterclockwise means I'm moving to the left. So. Yeah, and we'll just practice this right now, just in the horse stance. It's, just, it's kind of more just a practice of the arms. I'm twisting it around, and make sure, and you notice that the pole is behind me, okay, under my arm. My left hand still has contact with it. So I'm focusing in a lot on the blade part, okay? Okay, let's put these three steps together, shall we? Start with it on the left. One, two, now as you step, do that motion. Three. Okay. Let's do that again. Okay. Ready? One, two, and then turn it as you step. Three. Okay. Again. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Some momentum with this. One, two into three. So it's not so hard line separated. One, two, three. But I do want to kind of take it slow so you can do this with me. One, two, three. Especially if, ne if you've never really worked uh, an instrument like this before. Like so. One, two, three. Okay, the next motion, you're going to cross your left foot over your right and as you do this, watch my hands. I'm going to circle the other way overhead like this. So I'm going clockwise this time, okay, to the right. So I'm going to step. Now I lead with the back end and come out like so. Okay, a little, little tricky, but let's try it. Left over right, circle it overhead, and it's basically unwinding your arms. You see your arms from this position are kind of twisted up, right? So now as you cross over, you untwist it back to this position, okay? So that's what we're doing, okay? So left over right and overhead, untwist. Left over right, cross stance, overhead, untwist. I'm keeping my eye on that dummy when I was practicing before I collided pretty heavily with that, which, you know, all good, but <laughs> not good for the video. All right, let's start from the beginning, see if we can put one, two, three, and four together. Start on your left. One, two, three, and ready, four. So yeah, I'm really close to that dummy. <laughs> Gotta watch out for it. Ready, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. I hope you can see me. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Okay, kind of moving away there. One, two, three, four. Okay, see my cross stance, left over right. Here I'm right over left, one, left over right, two, three, let's finish it, four. Okay, now let's go into five. So let's start here. What I'm going to do for five is I'm going to cross, so I step left over right, I'm going to do what I did before, right over left, I'm going to drop this down, okay? I'm going to drop this down as I go right over left. That's all I'm going to do. I'm really taking this step at a time. Drop it as you bring your right over left. Mm -hmm. So you just drop it, drop it like it's hot, all right? Drop. Okay, right, so again, right over left and drop. Okay, that's all we're doing. Right over left and drop. I know these cross dances are a little tricky, so I wanna make sure I break this down step at a time on the cross dances, okay? So from up here, your left is in front of your right. Now unicorn right over left and drop it, okay? So right over left, drop it. Okay, let's add that. Ready, one, two. Three, four, five. Huh? 
Again, from here. One, two, three, four, five. Lots of unicorns. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, next. So if we start with our right over left, we're gonna do, I'm gonna go into a horse stance with my left. I'm gonna turn into a front stance and sweep upwards, scoop up, blade pointing up. So I wanna do this coming out of this right over left cross stance. So horse stance, scooping up into a front stance, okay? So I just wanna practice that. Horse and scoop, okay? So right over left, horse stance and scoop, okay? From the horse stance, I mean cross stance, horse stance to scoop into front stance, both stance, okay? So it's like one, two, two a two-stepper, one, two, okay? One, two, but you kind of treat it as one. One, <laughs> get one big motion, right? One, like that, okay? Step and scoop. Okay, let's add it, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. All right, again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hope you're able to follow along. I'm gonna flow it just a little bit more, folks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, maybe I shouldn't do it like that. All right, that's how I practice, but one, two, three, four, five, six. I have my students in mind when I make these videos. One, two, three, let's finish. Four, five, six. Now seven is an interesting move. You go into a front stance and turn it. I'm gonna go down like this. I'm just hitting with the flat part, okay? So all I'm doing is from up here, turn it down, okay? Or sideways, actually. So blade up, pivot down. So my palm is down and the blade is flat, facing flat. And stance-wise, I'm in front stance, front stance, or both stance to both stance. From here, both stance to both stance. In fact, you can practice it like this. Scoop and press. Scoop and press. Front stance to front stance. One, two. It's a good way to practice. One, two. One, two. Scoop and press. Scoop and press. Okay, let's put it together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right? I put six and seven together, but I will separate them out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hopefully that makes sense. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's go into the next one. Okay, ready for this? You're gonna go like this. Just watch. <laughs> it's called a tornado jump. 
Okay, you bring your left foot up. You've never done this before. Just hold on to your foot out. Bring your left foot up. You're going to turn uh, counterclockwise. Whoosh, land on your left. Step down with your right. Okay, it's called a tornado jump, not a kick. So left, lift the left, turn, step, and down. Okay, all together, it's a boom. Okay, that's the idea. Lift uh, off your right. Come off your right. Land on the left. So launch off your right into left. Oh, it's creating a breeze. All right. You ready? Launch off the right, land on your left. Boom. Like so. Right foot should be the last to come down. By the way, if you launch off your right, land on your right, it's called a 540. It's been a lot of years since I did that. All right. Not going to start today. <laughs> oh, God. I hope my earbuds don't fly off. Okay. Let's throw in the tornado jump from the beginning. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, here we go, eight. Okay, again, I'm trying to manage my space here so I don't crash into things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it, I should probably just keep it mostly in place. Okay, again, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, let's see. So after I did my tornado jump, I landed like this. Nine is basically a cut across. So just rotate it and swing. So just kind of roll it around your waist a little bit, and boom. Yeah, instead of a staff that kind of has some distance, you do kind of keep the pudao kind of connected to your body a little bit more. Definitely with a kwando because those things are heavy, and so you actually use your body to help move it because it's so dang heavy. But you kind of use similar structure with, with uh, pudao, although you're not really using your body completely to push the bar, but you just kind of keep it in close proximity because you've got better sort of leverage mechanics over it. And it's not really going into a bow stance. So you're not going into a full-on bow stance. You're just kind of in a leaning horse. Okay, let's add that to the mix. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Cool. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight kind of goes into nine, but we'll separate it out for our drills. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, uh, so we just did this. Now, uh, step 10, we're going to twist stance our right foot. Actually, you can kind of cross it, in fact, and we're going to sweep low. So y'all, it's the same exact movement that we started. Movement number one, like this. The only difference is we're just turning the foot and my direction is gonna be, uh, intent is gonna be more towards y'all, okay, towards the camera. So just from here, sweep low and twist stance with the right foot should be in front, the left foot should be in the back. Okay, that's all it is. Just sweep as your right foot Twist. We're going to cross this. I mean, you can step directly towards the wall as you do that. Okay. Sweep low with the right. Step to the left. Okay, let's add that from the top. Ready? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here we go, ten. Okay? Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Huh? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's keep going. So we've ended here. Now, same thing as step two, left over right. Bring it overhead. That's it. Okay, just like step two, right? One, two, it's the same. Same, 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 same. Okay, so one, two, except facing this way. Okay, so let's do the right twist stance low, then left over right, high. Okay, let's just work on that. Right over left, low, left over right, high. Okay, make sure your feet are correct on this. Right over left, low. Left over right, high, okay? Let's keep working that. Right over left, low. Left over right, high. With me? Right over left, low. Left over right, high, okay? Again? Right over left, low. Left over right, high. Again? One and two, okay? Now let's bring that in. Ready? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay? Okay, that's where we ended. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, got me, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oops, 11, I had to slightly turn that, all good, ready? One, two, okay, let's keep going. So, you're right over left low, left over right high, now we're gonna step out with our right foot, just like before, circle it around over kind of clockwise. I like that. It's exactly step three. One, two, three. It's the same thing, just facing a different direction. One, two, step out with the right, three. Okay? So let's, let's just work those three steps actually. I think that's valuable. One, low, two, high, three, step out, four stance, an overhead swing. Okay? So it's one, two, three. Three. I think it's useful to practice this way because we're going a different direction but using the same moves. And like I said it before in some of my other videos, even when you do the same movements, when you change the direction, it might feel like different movements because your body picks up on a lot of, your eyes pick up on a lot of cues subconsciously and you become dependent on those cues. Three. Okay, now let's string all of this in. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, my foot is barely in frame. Okay, <laughs> it's a horse stance. It's a it's a horse stance. All right, let's start from the beginning. Do it again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay? Reasonably in frame. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, we were here. Check this out. Next move. I'm going to rotate it around my waist, 
like this. I'm going to grab it with my left and bring it behind me and catch it with my right. What? <laughs> okay. All right. I'll try doing this slow. This is all one step. Okay. I'll try breaking that down a little further. So as I step with my right, I'm going to bring it around my waist and my left hand will grab onto it, let it spin, and my right hand comes behind it and grabs it from the back. I know, it's probably the trickiest move in the sequence. So step right, swing, pass it, and grab it. Okay, so your left hand has to grab it now. As you move across, you step, move across, grab it, you have to go around and behind to catch it, okay? So it's like, once you move it, your left hand takes over, then your right hand comes behind the ground. Okay, pause it if you would need to work on that one, but let's start from the beginning or just kind of fake your way through. Doesn't matter. All right, too much. Just don't hurt yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here we go. Thirteen. <laughs> All right, again, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. I'll try doing this one slower. You can kind of see. Again, ready? One, two, three. Four. Uh oh, that's fine. Okay, so after we have it behind us like this, the next move, also kind of crazy, I'm going to have the back, let my left hand go, swing it around, and catch it like that. So hand wise, I'm going like this swing, catch. Make sure you do it high. Don't hit yourself in the face with the, the head or the blade or the broom, right? Now, when I do this from behind the back, and out and around and catch, I'm going to step back with my left foot. Oh, okay. So left foot steps back as I bring it out like so. And behind the back, swing it, catch it. Left foot steps behind. Okay. <laughs> That's the drill. Okay. Okay, so from behind the back, Step behind, swing it out, and catch. Okay, put it in. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Trying desperately hard not to crash into this wall. I right, really trying to mind my space here. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. You see how one went into the other on that? Okay. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, okay. Movement number 15. So we ended with it out like this, and our left foot behind, yes. Now, movement 15, return into that horse stance, dip it down and scoop up. That's our last move. So basically from here, we're going to turn our uh, left foot behind the right, turn around with the left lead, scoop up. Just like we did the earlier scoop, okay, same movement. Up, upper swinging motion with the blade up. Okay, so cross behind and scoop. Again, cross behind and scoop. <laughs> Don't crash into the wall. Okay, cross behind, scoop. You know, we would be kind of up here. Let's start from up here. Cross behind, drop it down, and scoop in. Definitely watch out for the wall on that one. Okay, I'm going to move up a little bit. You might not see my feet. Step behind, turn around, scoop. Okay, folks, whole thing for two minutes. All right, one through 15. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm going to chop off those last three because they move fast and fluid. And I don't want to lose you on that. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm going to move on a little bit, nine, oh, that's ten, sorry, <laughs> my bad, I totally messed up the count, but, all right, stay with me, here's 14 into 15, my apologies for getting off the count, we got another minute for me to redeem myself, ready, here we go, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I made that separate, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I'm pausing, 15, just so you can kind of stay with me on that, that moves really fast, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I did flow that way. All right. Well, timer's about ending, but uh, I hope you like this form. It was an excellent uh, routine to practice. There are some complicated steps. Feel free to pause and watch and, and kind of learn them. But, uh, oh, this is so much fun. I'm going to have a birthday coming up soon. Maybe uh, I'll get a pudao, an actual pudao for my birthday. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.